you are welcome again to this channel this is garden of eden uh, we talk about farming fruits and uh, vegetable farming also we deal on a uh, pig farming as well as uh, yam farming I've done a previous uh, video about uh, how to farm uh, yam in sack and it was a very fantastic one with very good results so you have, if you have not watched the video you can refer to the video where I talk about why you should use big sack in yam farming it was a very fantastic year today we've come back to uh, yam farming again because this is a uh, farming season this is march 23rd of march 2023 so this is the ideal and the right time to do your yam in sack farming if you look at this place this is the sack that i removed from the previous uh, uh, farming so these sacks no more good no more usable so the sand the soil that was inside I have to empty them. You can see the soil empty. So I have to empty them. Reuse the soil. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. Hit on the notification button so that anytime I make an upload, you will get notified. Subscribe to my channel. Like the video share the video so today i'm going to dwell so much on getting the soil right getting the soil right this is the fundamental of getting a good result in yam in sack farming if your soil if you don't get the soil right you have made the basic fundamental mistake so I've gathered the soil from the previous uh, bag empty the soil and now you see how I heap up the soil I gathered the soil this soil as you can see is a mixture of manure a mixture of manure and the normal soil why do i need to put manure here why do i add the manure here the essence of adding the manure is to get the best yield from the yam in sack family i'm not using fertilizer so this is the real source of my organic fertilizer so i have mixed the soil together with the manure the soil is mixed together with the manure so with this the next thing is to put the soil inside you can see i've said it before in one of the videos why you should use a big sack this is very critical if you want a big yield if you want to get a big and a very good yield from the, the yam if you want to get a very good big, a good yield you have to use a big sack big sack you can see how big this sack this is guarantee a big yield you can see how big this one that has been packed. You can see this one. 
they are all big big sad so as you are uh, planning to invest on this business as you are starting to farm yam in sack please don't use small sack except if you are going for seed yam seed but if you are going for bigger results remember to put your prepared stuff in a food store one other thing that is very very important i want you to understand in this please avoid over clustering of this bag you can see how i space them two 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 i am not going to add more here i'm not going to add more here uh, if i should add maybe one more line maybe three three that should be enough by the time you cluster this year uh, the bags too much in a one place going to afresh because those ones there are ones that will fruit early enough and those ones that will fruit early enough will make a shed and prevent the ones that will come later from getting sunlight so as they are now this one is coming off this one is coming off all of them will have good access to sunlight so make sure that when you have filled your sand prepared sand in the sack space them don't put everything one piece space them let each bag have access let each bag have access to sunlight by the time you do that you are going to get a good result one other important thing i will want you to know is this in my sack in my feeling this this from my experiment it's always good to have the sand moist it's, all, it's always good to have the sand moist But you can see the sand, the soil is wet, it's not dry, it's wet, the soil is wet, it's not dry, you can see, it's wet, it's wet. What is the sense? Why do I make it wet? As it's already wet, this sack is going to retain the moisture for a very long time, so when rain Start falling is going to keep on adding to it. But if you use soil or, uh, that is too dry, I tell you, because you are using it in a sack, there is a possibility there is a portion of the bag that is that will be protected from uh, water penetration. Not every part of the uh, sand, uh, every part of the sack. We, the water will not get very deep inside because it was initially dry. But if it's wet as it is now, when rain starts coming, uh, falling, it keeps on fading in the absorption of the water. So, if you are not yet ready for this year, a uh, yam to start planting, I want to let you know that this is the rain time, this is the time. Get your seed yam, the yam you cut off from your the one you are eating. Get your sack. Any space at all you have is not about going to farm. Any space you have, get involved in yam production. Uh, I welcome you again to the channel. Please subscribe to this channel. Hit on the notification button. So that you get notified whenever I make a video update, like my video, share my video. Thanks for watching. God bless you.